All right. Welcome back, you beautiful bastards, to Batman the Telltale series. And let's go into episode two now. I don't know really how to continue this intro, but uh, we did a majority, did all majority choices in the last one, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, depending on how you view it. Anywho, episode two, Children of Arkham. An old friend becomes a new adversary as Bruce learns more about the Wayne family legacy and Batman escalates the fight against crime and corruption throughout Gotham. Let's see if these videos will also be kind of funky and maybe corrupted. Let's get on with this train wreck. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> the chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Well, how worse can this possibly get? Hmm? You, you don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Just standing out here with no I thought umbrella. I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. No, nope. you can't that amass excuse that kind enough. Of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's, it's just a, not possible. Billionaires. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. <laughs> Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. 
Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How can I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Well, uh, let's hope that's true. This is or the first I will put you out past you myself. That night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think... You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. Well, in 20 years, I, I didn't know that they were criminals. That night in vivid detail. Either, Maybe but, that's you know. Why. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Is this actual graffiti on the wall this time? Oh my god, it is. I guess the invisible ink went dry. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. It happened 20 years ago when I was a kid, I mean. Maybe. But do I really want to know? It would be hard to remember everything. Stay back! Take whatever you want! Have 
personal. Just business. They told me you had it coming. You... you don't have to do this. The pearls, you always have to have the pearls splashing on the cold, black asphalt of the wet ground. Bruce, are you all Wouldn't right? Wouldn't be his parents' death hooking. without them. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Okay, could just oh, wait your turn. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? Didn't have the I'm not to tell like you that. how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. Okay. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me. Just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say... You know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. Whoever great is behind that Vaseline screen, I would hope it's Bruce. I don't know what I just All right, goddamn Falcone visual is always messed up, ruining say the what flow. You say. We'll be out here. Jared Erman Johnson. Erman Johnson. Well, however you say it. I always see his name in these games. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. 
Well, I can't see much either. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. It's a damn shame you ask me. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Fine. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah, there's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh. They're waiting for you in hell. Well. That was smooth. The Surprising. bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time but not much or it's gonna get out sooner or later why would she do something like this we had gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp this close we were this close i don't i don't know i hardly recognized her when she burst in she was so different from the woman we met in the hall <sighs> it's a disgrace another officer gone rogue 
just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh, I'm just gonna leave me in here with Tell her. me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Okay, you're really putting a lot of trust in me. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Oh. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence there was a voice in my ear insisting falcone was gonna get off and all i knew was that i had to stop that i had to no matter what the reasons why i shouldn't they were a million miles away D did you see a face could you id a suspect i i don't think so you must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so C sorry, Lieutenant. Couldn't you check the cameras? Don't they have cameras? Stalled Falcone's lawyers for now. For Falcone's They'll be back. Room. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? 
I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. A police sergeant, Renee Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. What horrible consequences will that have in this story? Okay. Probably not much so. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Uh, okay. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. That's a pretty dangerous drug. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Bring 
me her head. Her, okay, yes. Do we have a name? No. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. You can help me. <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime, boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like Roland. an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? Falcone? We all saw how no, you felt Falcone. about Falcone. No. Pounded him into a pump. On live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Hmm. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. Oh my god, is that Skrillex? They found Cat Falling on the hard times. Falling on hard times, he did. Good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a cat woman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> oh, no, oh. oh. Always gotta miss one prompt that kills me. I can have a just do a one shot in this game. My timing is so off now. I, I, Spider Man 2 really made me feel like I couldn't parry anything. 
And now I can't even hit the PPEs in this game. Dead, gone. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. <laughs> 